today we will be unboxing the Witch's Box. I'm very excited. I'm excited to see what is in store for this month. I know the, um, I believe the Deep Dive Gathering is, ooh, tonight. Sorry, box. So, let's see what we've got. A bit unprepared, as you can see, but that's okay. We're going with it. Let's see. Okay. We're good. We're in business. So, let me just skip on over here. Alrighty, so yes, I am very excited to see what is in this. And also, I didn't even introduce myself. I am Bubblebee Fern, so thank you so much for joining me. And let's see what we've gotten here, because I know, like, lots of people I love it. So exciting to meet you. I absolutely, I... I have always loved this box. Um, it has gotten to the point where um, so far in the previous months, I have been a little bit disappointed just with like the cost to value ratio, I guess. Um, it's just, I wish that she would kind of come back to the jars and the things that so many of us loved about this box. But and she, just after saying that or with, with that, the past, um, she has brought some of the glass jars and things back. So I'm hoping that she is going to maybe roll back into that. So if you have seen this already unboxed, let me know what you thought. Ruin it for all of us. Because <laughs> I'm really interested what other people are thinking about it. For me, I definitely like, I really love Elena. Like she, her and Elliot and the whole Witches Box team are really very just deep and magical and have so much to offer. And I just hope that she is able to bring it back to um, what she was because I don't know, like maybe it's just kind of anecdotal, but I feel like a lot of times I kind of hear a lot of disappointment come from this. So I don't know, maybe there are, is a whole nother group of lovely witches out there that loves this box and has never been disappointed but we shall see so we have the maybe ace of swords either that or king of swords or prince of swords here beautiful and she has been using this deck for a while i re really do love like the simplicity of it and just how just pure and simple no no explanations needed so ooh, we have the element of air is this month very cool we have air in the tarot cool so there is that i do love this because i will definitely i definitely need to get more into tarot again we have rosemary I have kind of stepped away from tarot a little bit. I still do readings, especially like with my husband, if he does feel, he's very, very intuitive. So a lot of times he'll be like, oh, break out the cards. Like we need some insight on this matter. Um, but yeah, I really have been gravitating towards my runes and different things like that, just because I just love like the tactile feel of my runes. But I do love tarot as well. So then we have dandelion, very nice very cool i'm curious if we're gonna get actual dandelion like dandelion leaf or if we're gonna get some dandelion roots so i don't know where she's going with the boxes i always think like there's something missing for the wow factor yeah marnie so yeah so i hope she i have kind of felt that too like she is kind of coming back coming back into the um into like the really the value that she once had, but I feel like she was missing it for a little bit there. I really do hope she picks it back up because I would love to resubscribe. Um, <clears throat> cause I did, I did put a pause on my subscription just because I'm kind of trying to figure some stuff out right now and decide where I want to take things. I am going to start gearing more towards, um, like informational videos and how to's and spell videos. So there is that, but I'm gonna try not to make too much of a mess here. She always puts in lots of wormies for us. So right on top, very interesting. We have, look, who is air your favorite element? That is, that's really cool, yeah. Earth is definitely my favorite element. I am definitely, even though I'm a Sagittarius, like earth is just always been my jam. Hey honey, you need, um, 
just go to your room for just a little bit longer and I'll let you know, okay? Please be quiet. You can't keep knocking on my you can't keep knocking on my door. I love you. So look at this gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly. Gorgeous butterfly. It's a little clippy. Cute. I could totally like I will definitely be hanging this somewhere, like either on my tapestry or somewhere super cute to just enjoy these super adorable butterfly air vibes. I could totally see having a bunch of these too, just on your wall and like a big swirling awesome flock of butterflies. What do butterflies travel in? I don't know. Is it flocks? Is it? What do, what do like locusts travel in? Swarm. Is it a swarm of butterflies? Very cool. Let's look at their, their email newsletter. Yeah, yeah, they, she, like I said, yeah, she does really offer a lot. So we have, it looks like a big, um, a big altar cloth. And these confuse me a little bit every time. They are so large. Like you could literally put them on your dining table as a tablecloth. Um, and I feel like I would rather, let's, let's open it and see before I even say anything. So yeah, I believe it's just like a blank yellow cloth. We've had this quite a few times. Maybe it's been for the elements. I know we got them for water. Um, I'm not sure what other, if we have done any other elements yet. But yeah, I know. And then we've gotten one for like a couple of the other boxes. Very interesting for sure. I definitely like don't use these. Like I'll have to find something else. You have to stop knocking on my door. Not right now. Please don't knock on my door again. But yeah, so I don't know what I will really use this for. Um, I definitely, like, it's way too big for me to use it for anything else. But we'll see. I'm going to look it up. Yeah. Oh, you can fold them in pretty ways. Okay, Kayla. That's really cool. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, that's what it was for the planets. For sure. So yeah, like, I really don't, I haven't used mine and I also am guilty of not being able to make it to the deep dive gatherings. I feel so bad. Like every month I fully intend to make it and then something happens right at the time she has them. It's always like bedtime for my daughter. So I'm always like right in the thick of just getting everybody down and getting everything situated with my family and then I end up missing it. So it makes me really sad, but I'm going to try, try if I can to make it tonight and if not, then I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Elena. Like I want to be there and I do watch the, the after recordings, but we have a big honkin' white candle. I do love these big pillar candles. They're really cool and perfect for engraving um, and inscribing your intentions and sigils with. So very cool. We have a big old bag of rosemary. Very nice. I was hoping that she would have a big bag of dandelion because I have a crap ton of rosemary um I, that is one thing that I do wish they did like that kind of bumps me out sometimes is when they oh, darn it I always rip it when I don't have to oh yes I do perfect but yeah like I feel like like it makes me a little bit bummed out when you put in something that you could just get at like the grocery store unfortunately I know some people just don't have a lot of rosemary but I happen to have a lot so <laughs> Very nice and fresh smelling though. It is more of like the cut. So it is smaller pieces. Cool. It actually smells really, really good. Like it actually, it almost smells like it's a little bit, like almost like a little extra, like maybe my rosemary just doesn't, it doesn't, it has, I don't know, like a little extra spice or something in there. So that actually smells really, really good. We have some feathers, beautiful, beautiful blue feathers with glitter on them. Super cute. And these colors are absolutely gorgeous. Super pretty. A group of butterflies. What did you say? Fly a swarm or flutter. A kaleidoscope? It's called a kaleidoscope of butterflies. My kaleidoscope. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how you saw a kaleidoscope. How crazy. Wow. A swarm or a flutter. I love flutter. A flutter of butterflies. Like Definitely using that one. <laughs> so cute. Oh, we did get dandelion in here. We're just hiding. So we have dandelion. And it does feel like it is not the root, which is nice. Let's give it a peek just in case. 
because I have a bunch of dandelion root for teas and such, but it is so nice to have actual dandelion leaf. Awesome. Which is something so funny to, to get excited about, but I think when you're like into herbalism, you just get excited about even things that are considered weeds and stuff. I know, Blossoming Lotus, that's so cute. A flutter of butterflies. Oh, So awesome. I'm glad we did get this. That would have been, or that would have made me like a little bit sad if we didn't get that one. We did get rosemary, but very cool. And then lastly, we have our Air Magic book, Elements of Witchcraft by Astrea Taylor. Gorgeous. And I know we do have a water one. I actually have it back here somewhere, but it's very cool. Have we only done um, air and water so far or have we done another one? I feel like we've only done air and water, but I love the feel of these books. And that is one thing that I think she also aside from the <clears throat> digital content she has been putting more stock in her her books because she didn't used to have a book in every single one but now she seems to be putting like pretty consistently a book in every single box so um also she does have her book box if that is something you're interested in she does have like a little witch witch book club type box where she has i don't know how many boxes do you get in that box i haven't actually gotten it so I just honestly don't have time to read books all the way through. Like I use them for a lot of reference, but if I am like comfortable and calm enough to sit down and read a book, I'm calm enough to fall the heck asleep. Like I will pass out <laughs> if I stop moving and doing stuff for that long. So I love, love, love having these as gorgeous additions to my witchy library though that I can reference and really dig into when I have the chance. It looks like she they have a bunch of herbs, um, herbs and botanicals with air element, crystals and stones, animal guides. Wow, like actually looks like there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. So I'm really excited about that. This is really useful too, like if you're doing any magic around, obviously around the air element and you wanted to create something um, only using these herbs, like that's, that's really awesome. So beautiful addition so yes what did you guys think about this we will read the pamphlet i think to me i mean like if i'm being honest i feel like oh i put this aside but with this and then everything i mean i feel like i can't say that it's worth like the 75 or 79 dollars that this box cost i want i want so bad to like continue loving this this box but i don't know like i feel like i can't say yes this is super worth the money because i know a lot of and i am an affiliate for the witch's box so i just want to make sure i am being completely transparent and i do have a link down below in my affiliate section so if you do want to get this box or the witchy book box and you click on that link i do get a little portion i, I can't remember what it is i think it's like 10 percent or something of the profits so Thank you so much for that support for everybody that has used my links in the past um but yeah so i definitely want to be transparent with that and not just try to sell this box you know if i don't if i can't feel it you know what i mean so we have dearest magical souls here we are this is our second box in the elemental series that answers my question we started for started with the first elements of witchcraft book put out by llewellyn Last November, we focused on water, and we're so fortunate to have Lilith Dorsey, the author, join us for the Deep Dive Gathering. That's so amazing. I love that she does that. She did that as well with the Magic of Food, I believe it was called, and he, the, the author, I, I wish I could remember his name, something, I feel like something Raven. Stop. Stop. Okay, don't knock on my door again. But it was, he was just so funny and it was so amazing to get like the good insights of the actual author. So I really did love that. Um, well, so <clears throat> this month, the air book by Astrea Taylor is, or Astrea Taylor is being released to, to release and you all get to have it. This box is all air. The herbs are ruled, are ruled by air and the rest of the items in this box are some of the items that she mentioned in the book. Oh, that's really cool. The oracle cards used to send all of you are in the suit of swords, which are also ruled by air. I encourage you to all read as much of the book as you can so that we can gather with Astria, Astria, sorry, I keep like totally butchering her name. Astria Taylor, you can get the most out of the experience. 
Very cool. So we have our air, magic, elements of witchcraft, our altar cloth, candle, butterfly, which is apothecary, bag of rosemary, and dandelion, oracle card, rosemary, and dandelion, book of shadows page, and the air in the tarot, book of shadows page. And I am very excited about that air in the tarot, book of shadows page, just because getting more info into my grimoire, my book of shadows about that each individual tarot is like really important to me. Um, in the very beginning of my tarot journey, I actually sat down with every single card and I like studied the cards, you know, each card for, you know, however long, like an hour each. And I wrote down every single thing, like every single thing I could think of and that I took notice to in the card, like the colors, the composition, the animals, the symbols, the, the flow of things, like everything that I could possibly think of. And I wrote everything down under each card in a notebook and just got really into it and it did really help me connect to those um and i actually did it with the wild unknown tarot so i kind of wish i had done it with the original like brighter weight just because i feel like i would have been able to gather more about the original meanings of the tarot but yeah i really did enjoy that and i do want to get back into it yeah the unboxings are something i've never considered subscribing yeah they they are just they are like really 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 good they used to be i feel like a little bit more exciting because she would usually have like one big just amazing item like i got like a really awesome modern pestle i'm staring at like i've gotten a few like really cool items from her um and then she would have like her big honkin jars like two or three jars sometimes of like glass jars of herbs and that is what really sold me in this box in the first place now it seems like she has definitely moved more to like the books and then the online content. So I'm, I mean, you'll have to kind of let me know what you think down below about the value, but I don't know, like, I feel like I can't say that this is worth the 75 or $79, however much it is for including shipping. But I mean, she does have a beautiful energy and I really do hope that I hope her the best and We'll see. I know she does show her boxes now too. Like she actually shows what it's what's in them ahead of time, and then she allows you to buy them as indiv individual boxes. So maybe um, if I do have boxes that really stand out to me, then I will purchase them. Um, and then also she does do her like herb boxes, and I do have a link for that down below as well. If she has them going on, those are really cool because she takes like these big. If you're needing to stock up and you bulk up your apothecary, she has like a big box full of like big bulk herbs, which is really awesome. And then also like she does like mystery boxes, which is really cool too. Like all the things she has laying around that she kind of had extras of or whatever in her boxes. So those are always really fun like mystery type things. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I don't know. I, I did really love the air element. I know that I have been definitely wanting to work more with elemental magic <clears throat> and with the elements because it's not actually something that I've really focused on in my practice. I've always focused more on just kind of pure herbalism and, um, like medicinal properties of herbs, different things like that, like a lot of healing. So I definitely do need to work more on incorporating the elements into my practice but yeah so i think that's everything like i said i can't even remember if i said it in this one but if you are new here thank you so much for joining us i would love for you to subscribe and become part of the honey coven and i will definitely be getting to my giveaway video very soon um <clears throat> but yeah like definitely definitely just come back and join me because it's going to be fun. I have a lot more to do. I have all my goodies that I've been getting up into the shop. I just also need to mention, um, I am having the 15% off moon goddess sale for the super late super moon sale <laughs> because I'm just always late with everything. And that is in the Botanica, which you can find down below. Lots of cool lecture forming stuff that I've been working with and jewelry and also my teas and a bunch of new herbs hitting the shop soon. So Yes, 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 yes. <sighs> Aquarius and Sun, Venus, showing your water as well. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, such a great book. I know, I'm definitely gonna have to dig into it because I do love all the different things that there are gonna be to reference. And yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, thank you for joining us, Anna. Hey girl, hey. You did miss a little bit, but don't worry, you can see it all here.
<laughs> and I know how you feel <laughs> about the the things in this box so I don't know I, I I think I am gonna have to take a break from it for at least a little bit like I said I'll definitely be checking in and seeing what she has here and there but to bond with them yeah there is a book on elemental magic that is really good to bond with them what have you read these hannah like have you read the individual books on like air and water and the ones that she has offered here because definitely interested i know you are really into elemental magic too so yeah so you'll have to let me know which books i need to pick up because i even though i don't get to read all of them like i'm still obsessed with growing my witchy library <laughs> just because it's something to collect and I'm a collector of all things. So yes, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you made it to the end, please leave the like wind, like that lady, the cool wind goddess blowing emoji in the comments. And I will know that you stuck around and you're just a true honey. But yes, I read Water Magic and it was good, awesome. Yes. Okay, guys. Well, I will hop on Discord after this. If anybody wants to chat, the Discord link is down below. If you are not part of that, it's just kind of an app that we chat on. We have different channels and stuff. It hasn't been as active as I wish it would be because I'm just haven't been as active in it. So I'm very sorry about that. I do want to spice it up with some fun things. Have some fun things coming too with I'm going to be starting I guess we'll do a tiny little announcement. I'm gonna be starting doing a um, a little channel membership. So, and there'll be a bunch of fun things that are available to memberships or my 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 members that aren't around, like aren't for everybody else or aren't available to everybody else. What am I trying to say here? I don't know. Let me read off some of the things that I have actually for that. So uh, one of the things I'm be doing, so I'm actually going to be doing a monthly spell for members. So everybody who is part of the membership, and I'm guess I'm thinking about just doing something really low at first, maybe like 11, 11, kind of thing, like $11, 11 cents um, for the membership, something very hopefully affordable. I don't want to make it anything crazy. Um, but yeah, so one of the things I will be doing for all members is a um, a spell. So either on Zoom or maybe I'll just make a video and we'll kind of vote on a, like a spell or a an intention that we are all needing in our lives. And then I will do a special spell. I'll write all of our names on the petition and do an actual spell and ritual around that for all of us. I'm going to be doing more in-depth videos. So like if I do different like how to's and stuff on my channel. I will be like, say I give like five tips or whatever on my channel. I'll probably do like a more in depth, like 10 tips or bonus tips or something in the memberships. I'm gonna be doing my recipe videos. So all my recipes for all my teas, all my incense blends, anything that's in my boxes, I will be doing the actual recipe blends on how I create those and all the ingredients I put into those um, in the membership. So if you want to create your own or at least see the more personal um, experience that I go through to create those for everybody, I'll be doing oracle readings and maybe monthly meditations. We'll see how that goes. If I'm going to be brave enough to get on live and lead some, lead everybody through a meditation or you made doing Q and A's, of course. And then I'm thinking also about maybe doing a guided learning topic each month or each week. I think week is kind of like hard to do but maybe like each month we'll kind of dive deep and all kind of collaborate and all put in as much information into a single topic as we can we'll all have our notebooks and really just learn from each other that's something I've definitely been wanting to do with the discord as well and then the last thing that I have planned that I'm very excited about is the fireside chats which will be done on zoom and most of the time they'll probably be with my husband because he has some really cool like ravings and insights about the magical magical side of thing being married to a witch and kind of his perspective on the deeper deeper topics so a lot of them might be controversial so if you're you know don't come if you're easily offended <laughs> because we're going to just be very truthful, very honest, come bearing facts. And some of them might be a debate between me and him. Some of them might be our views on different things. There will be, um, I will, it will be open for anybody else to tell their, give their perspective or opinions on things. So definitely an open conversation. And I'm very excited about that. Like I have really been craving good 
discourse between people who are willing to have an open mind and come to the table with good like facts and good evidence and good just everything they believe in like spirit give me some spirit give me some spirit honeys but yeah that is those are all the things those are the things I'm planning I'll probably open memberships up soon so just so I, so I can get my butt in gear and get those going and yeah I just I'm really excited about it so after all that thank you so much for joining me it's been very nice chatting with you for the past couple of videos. We just did a Sugar Muses and Midnight Muses unboxing right before this. So go check that out if you haven't already. And yes, I think I will talk to y'all later. Blessed be. Bye. Bye, honey. I'll see you later.